Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extremely Awakened Tech Super Saiyan God Goku and the STR Super Saiyan God Vegeta on the uh, GT Legendary Goku event. Now, before we get into the gameplay, I want to quickly go over their Extreme Z Awakening details. So, if you guys happen to already know what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about uh, a minute or so. Okay, so starting with the Super Saiyan God Goku first, his leader skill is Super Tech Types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. A super attack greatly, or sorry, uh, raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and seals the enemy's super attack. And then his passive is key plus three, attack and defense plus 150%, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, and then attack and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 77% with two or more rainbow key spheres obtained. And then finally, reduces damage received by 77% when there is a movie bosses or pure Saiyans category enemy. And as you can see, his links are not fully maxed out, but about halfway there. And uh, he has a level 5 attack skill orb and a level 3 crit slash level 1 attack for the gold skill orb. So that is the tech Super Saiyan God Goku. Now, moving on to the Super Saiyan God Vegeta leader skill, Super STR types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, Super attack greatly raises attack, and this can be stacked infinitely, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense, and passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 150%, high chance of guarding all attacks, which is 50%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 77%, for 3 turns after receiving an attack, medium chance of launching an additional super attack, great chance of stunning the attacked enemy when there is a movie bosses or pure saiyans category enemy. And uh, as for his links, pretty similar to the super saiyan god Goku, and he also has the exact same skill orbs. So those are the extremes the awakening details, uh, one thing to keep in mind throughout this video is that even though we're under double uh, LR God Goku and Vegeta leads. Neither of them are in the Kamehameha category, so they don't get the full 200% leader skill. They're both under 170% leader skills right now. Okay, so uh, yeah, with all that said, let's jump right into it. And we do have both of them on the same rotation along with the uh, Gohan for support. So the Vegeta is starting with 138,000 defense. And the Goku is starting with 142,000 defense. Now, that's not great for either of them, but keep in mind that Vegeta will be getting more attack and defense when he uh, gets hit. He also has the high chance to guard. And then the Goku will be getting uh, attack and defense with orbs and also has the 77% damage reduction against pure Saiyans. Of course, you know, all the enemies on this event uh, are pure Saiyans, so he's basically not going to be taking any damage for the entire run so let's give a couple orbs to the vegeta and then we can give uh let's see five orbs to goku including at least two rainbow uh key spheres and then we'll give a few more oh, hold on let me check the defense here so now we're up to 190 uh 8, 000 for the goku and here we go let's see what these guys can do Okay, so we took 57... Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, the defense was nice. Only took 57 for the normal. And then... We got 5.7 and 6.1 for the first two supers. For Vegeta. That is... That is absolutely ridiculous. Holy... Alright, so we're... Um, off to a good start. The only unfortunate thing is that um, Godku didn't get a chance to attack, but that was definitely a good showing for the Super Saiyan God Vegeta. 
And as I've said um, in the past, I do think the Super Saiyan God Goku is the more useful of the two, mainly because of that damage reduction. But I also made sure to say that the Super Saiyan God Vegeta is still very, very good. Okay, Super Saiyan God Vegeta is no joke, as you just saw. It's just that I think the 77% damage reduction for the Goku against pure Saiyans and movie bosses makes him have more util uh, utility in the game because of how many events, how many hard events out there, um, you know, are against movie bosses or specifically pure Saiyans enemies, right? So, yeah, essentially they're both awesome. Um, I'm going to put the uh, Goku in the first slot now just so we can actually get a chance to see him attack. And uh, once again, he's at 124,000 defense, which is obviously lower than before since we lost the support from Gohan. But he's going to get a lot more with those orbs, uh, now up to 187,000. Uh, Vegeta's at 214,000. And here we go again. Let's see what the Goku can do now. Uh, this is without support, of course, so it's not going to be as high as it could have been last turn, but it's all good. His defense, looking great. <laughs> as I said, 77% damage reduction is just crazy. I mean, he is literally a brick wall against all pure saints enemies, against all movie bosses enemies. He's going to be your savior in the uh, movie bosses red zone event, right? And, uh, you know, legendary Goku event. Um, what else? Uh, legendary Vegeta event. Uh, various uh, Super Battle Roads. Um, Infinite Dragon Ball history. I mean, the list goes on. The list goes on. That's why I do still prefer him over the Vegeta. But you got to admit, man, the Vegeta's numbers are mad impressive. Like, the Vegeta is really, really impressive. Okay, I have a huge issue with this rotation right here. I really don't like it. I gotta be honest, I really, really don't like it because even though the uh, God Kuz, or rather the God Goku and Vegeta, and the original Blue Boys, the LR Blue Boys, share six links, they don't share any key links. Right? They share all the attack links, the defense links, all that good stuff, but they don't share any key links, which means that more often than not, the LR Blue Boys, the Fizz, Blue, Goku, and Vegeta, don't get a super, which is um, a bit of an issue. It's a bit of an issue. I mean, we could maybe get lucky and never mind. I was going to say, we could maybe get lucky and get like an additional super attack, which obviously didn't happen and uh, damn that's a lot of damage we just took there yeah I don't love that rotation but it's okay it's okay we're not here to showcase the you know new LR God Goku and Vegeta anymore you guys know exactly what they can do we're here to showcase the God Goku and Vegeta and they are incredibly impressive they are incredibly incredibly impressive okay so hopefully both the Goku and Vegeta Get to attack this turn that would be ideal so we take a hit there for the additional boost and now we're up to 6.2 mil for the first super if we get a second i'm gonna guess 6.5 something to that effect 6.6 6.6 okay well there you go there you go offensively i mean it's pretty clear that vegeta is um you know, superior, but defensively, it's not really a contest either. And the Goku, for how good of a tank he is, um, is really putting out some pretty good numbers, you know, putting up some pretty big damage, in my opinion. Like, he's getting 4, 4.5 mil. Um, once we get the support on rotation, probably closer to like 5 mil. I mean, that's really good still, considering he's getting 77% damage reduction, right? So, I like both of them. I think I would just run both of them always uh, with each other. Um, but of course, it's up to you how you want to build your teams. But, I mean, they're just such a good combo, right? So, there's really no reason to not run them together. Uh, anyways, on this rotation, I am definitely concerned 
Uh, in fact, I think what I'm going to do is keep the blue boys in that third slot with no attacks. Let's pop a princess snake just to be safe. And then... Yeah, it, we should be fine from there. I think we should be okay now. I mean, Gohan hasn't really had a chance to stack any defense yet. But with the Princess Snake, he should hold up just fine. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're fine. We're good to go. Now the next turn is going to be interesting. Because I don't want to use an item for the God Koo and the uh, God Vegeta. But you guys know how hard a super attack from this... Okay, you know what? It might not matter. <laughs> it might not matter. Well, you might finish him off here. But you guys know how hard this this great ape can hit, right? So I'm not going to use an item. It might be a little bit dangerous. But I think we'll be fine, actually. Oh, damn. Okay. So let's let Goku go first because we really haven't had too many chances to see him attack yet. And that is 205,000 defense, that's great. And then Vegeta, I'll just give him a couple of orbs, but honestly, I think that the Goku will probably finish him off here. So we won't be able to see Vegeta attack again. He would be probably over seven mil um, attack at this point with the support. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay, that worked out. So Goku, 4.5 mil. Impressive, looking good. Vegeta. Vegeta with the eight mil. That's just, that's just insane, man. That's, that's just insane, what can I say? Okay, so we're gonna pop the active skill for one of these guys. I guess I'll go for, uh, I should probably go for mine, right? Cause the friend one hasn't really stacked that much defense. Yeah, so we'll go for mine. There we go. And, oh crap, I forgot to turn back the uh, animations. This is my bad. That's okay though. So no animation for you, but you guys already know what they look like, so it's not a huge deal. And should I use an item here? I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna hold off. And uh, I'm gonna just trust that, you know, these guys will hold up fine defensively hopefully we'll see <laughs> it would really suck to die right now i'll tell you that it would really really suck to die right now so yeah holding up quite well so far 8.7 mil now that's my blue boys goku and vegeta and we cancel one of his actions which is great second super 6.1 i know we're not here to showcase them but it's still awesome to see them go off like this man it still is just really fun. <laughs> like that that's that's a good time. Okay, so I'm hoping that the friend it's not a guaranteed additional super, but I'm hoping they do get one. Never mind. Because I'm worried about taking a super attack here. Hopefully it doesn't happen. I don't think it's gonna No, it's not gonna happen. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Because this gives us gives us a chance to actually show off the God Ku's defensive abilities on the next turn. So hopefully he's the one that gets supered with no items. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so guys, this is uh This is with no items, this is with type disadvantage, as you are I'm sure aware. And uh Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Here we go. Oh, why did I not give the fizz or uh, whatever? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, so only four mil attack. If we get a crit, we might do some damage. If we don't, then probably not. Um, yeah, not much damage. Oh. Well, damn it. <laughs> I was sure that Goku was going to get supered, man. I was convinced Goku was going to get supered. Well, I guess not. I guess not. And um, as you saw on that turn right there, uh, we 
you know, didn't get the uh, hit first on Vegeta, so he was missing a lot of attack and defense, but I put the Goku in the first slot because I really wanted him to get supered there. Didn't quite happen. That's just how it goes. Very unfortunate. And now we're on the full power Super Saiyan 4. Uh, I am going to item here just so that the Gohan at the end doesn't get completely screwed. And uh, hopefully these guys don't go off too much because I want to have at least one more turn with the easy A, God Goku and Vegeta. Oh man, we're getting a token attack, aren't we? Yeah, we are. <sighs> Why? Why? Okay, please guys, don't don't go off too hard. Okay, don't do too much damage, even though you're probably going to. How did I miss that? Even though you're probably going to, because I see the attack stat, it's 9.6 mil. Um, <laughs> I want to see one more attack from the Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Because I want to see what his attack stat looks like right now. But we might not actually get to it, depending on what this does. Okay. 6.9, alright. They're too good. They're, 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 they're way too good. Okay. Um, that was... I don't know, it was decent, but... He should still be alive. Yeah, he should still be alive. And then we take a super here, that's gonna do... Probably a decent amount of damage. Yeah, 193k, alright. But the good thing is that the Gohan now is spared. The Gohan will definitely survive this turn. So we're fine. I mean, his defense is pretty decent anyways, so I'm not like that concerned, but I just used the item just in case. And here we go, my friends. Here we go. I'm really, really hoping, really, really hoping that we get supered here, okay? Please, like, let me show off Godku's abilities in full here. No items, by the way. And he's taking a million hits. There's like 10 attacks in that first slot. And none of them are supers. Obviously. Give me a crit. Solid crit. Good damage. Okay. And uh, yeah, no supers. Su man? Of course. Yep. Yep. That sounds about right. <laughs> of course he dodges that. But yo, no support 7.8 mil? I mean, that's... That's something. That's something. You know what, guys? We're not gonna get one more turn here because no matter what I do, um, I'm pretty sure the Super Saiyan 4 full power Goku is dead. So instead, we're gonna end things off this way. We're going to end things off this way. Enjoy. And there you go. So obviously the ideal ending would have been to um, have the Super Saiyan God Vegeta launch like a 10 mil plus super with the support from Gohan. But since, you know, there was no chance we were gonna get there because we had the two, you know, LR gods um, on this rotation, I was like, yo, second best thing, just go for that Blue Gogeta active skill, do a crap load of damage, and uh, still a pretty good ending. Still a pretty good ending, I would say. So, there is your showcase, guys. That is the Super Saiyan God Vegeta and Super Saiyan God Goku. If we're looking at pure damage numbers, which a lot of people tend to do, then obviously the Vegeta was mad, mad impressive, but... To me, defense is everything. You know, like obviously damage does matter. You still need to do damage to kill the enemies, but the Goku is not really lacking 
offensively. He's going to give you 4 plus pretty much every single time. And his defense, I mean, against Pure Saiyans, of which there are a lot of Pure Saiyans enemies in this game, and then of course movie bosses, he is literally, I mean, a brick wall or whatever you want to call him. He is whatever wall that takes no damage. Whatever wall that cannot be, you know, broken through, right? He is just like the tank of all tanks in those situations. So, um, I still would put the Goku over the Vegeta for that purpose, for that reason. But the Vegeta really, really impressed me too. So, I just love this combo, man. I love this combo. They're so much fun to use. Uh, I need to slap stickers on them actually ASAP. You know what? I'm gonna just do it right now. Screw it. I can't wait. I really can't wait. I gotta slap stickers on these guys because they just... They deserve it. <laughs> they deserve it. So I'm gonna do the special uh, Goku Day sticker on this guy. There we go. Not the best effect, but okay. And then we have the Vegeta here. I'm gonna just, just use the regular sticker for him. And... There you go. So yeah, pretty minimal effects, let's be honest, but it's fine. It's fine. Their performance uh, makes up for the lack of effects in their sticker art. And uh, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the Goku and the Vegeta's Extremes the Awakenings. Um, which one do you think is better? Which one do you prefer? I mean, just use both of them together at the end of the day. And you're good to go and um yeah that's all i gotta say guys uh thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media Signing out.